Welcome back to Atomic Heart. Thanks for joining me again. Doing this neat quest. I'm supposed to go down to a boiler room. That's what we're supposed to do. So let's do that because we're in the uh, the hot workshop. We're supposed to like find these canisters or something. I think. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. What's this guy got? What are these boxes of? That was a sound effect I haven't heard before. Don't know what that was. A6. Or 6A. That says A6. But these kind of look like they say 6A. I have no idea what that is. Bunch of posters here. Why they're down here in the boiler room, I don't know. We're getting closer to the bottom. Oh, there's another dude who got strung up by whatever that is, wherever it came from. Can't wait until it happens to us. Oh, there's another body right there. Delightful. Oh, we got some music playing down here. Let's try to scan a little bit. Okay. Ooh, we got somebody sitting here, maybe. Why is he sitting down? There we got a guy walking around over there. That seems to be about it. Check this out. You're not going to tell me what that says, game? Because I really wanted to see what that one says. Nope, not going to tell me. Check the old scanner again. Wow. Now I'm seeing nothing. It's a little disturbing. Don't carry uncorked bottles. <laughs> it's melting his face. Some kind of electrical equipment there, it looks like. I well, we don't know what that one says either. Oh. Oh, he's having some trouble there. It looks like his foot is stuck. I'm not too interested in helping him. Really not. But we have a lot of bullets. Shells. Uh, comrade, who needs ink and paper? Chirper, record it and save it for later. I have a feeling that once I get closer to him, he is going to free himself. There's a part of me that wants to switch to using this weapon. Save some, save some shells. Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> Just chopped his freaking head off. Help ourselves to some goodies. So this is the guy we saw sitting down. There we go. There's the guy walking around. It's a pearl or, or a pear over there. What have we here? So we're just simply supposed to reach the boiler room. Probably going to turn something off. Or maybe on, I don't know. But, uh, oh. Where did he come from? I don't really like the sound that that's uh, making right there. It's making me nervous. Use some of this fire cartridge that I've got since I have so much of it. Oh gosh, I can't tell whether he's coming or not. Oh, there he is. So maybe I'll squirt him with something and then I'll shoot him, catch him on fire. See how he likes that. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> um, okay. 
Well, um, that was pretty easy. I don't know whether the uh, fire helped at all. It seemed like I just shot him and that was the end of that. Boy, this is reminding me of the... Oh, gosh, what was it called in the game Prey? The, the goo gun or glue gun or something like that, remember? Oh, well, we had, uh, unlocked the achievement called Polymerization. Let's see if my scanner sees anybody else in here. Oh, sure enough, it does. Oh, God. Oh, what the? Holy. What? Why so many? Please lower the boiler pressure. We need to cool uh, off boilers one, two, and three. Boilers look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. <laughs> look at that guy. Hey, you. Oh, look at his face. Whoa, two shots and he's down. Damn. Up. I wonder if it matters where I shoot them. Oh, man. Two shots and he is down. Some piece of machinery is moving over there. It's a little disturbing. How far is my range with this thing? Nope, I don't think I hit him. Then I got one over there and one over there. Man, these guys are vulnerable to everything. You look at a mean and it hurts them. Okay. You're supposed to cool off some boilers. Maybe by turning some valves. Too hot to touch. Oh. I need to find a way to cool it off from the inside. Need a way to. Find a way to cool it off from the inside. Get this guy here in front of me and this guy over here. Let's clear these guys out first before I try to cool anything down. him. Oh, the quivering. Disturbing. Music playing in here. Damn, how many of these dudes are there? I saw one sit on the ground too, I thought. And he's over there. I don't want to walk in there because he'll probably see me. I could just shoot this guy in the head, I guess. It really doesn't hurt anything. Then I might alert him to my presence, and I really don't want to take care of... Try, try to deal with two of them at the same time. Whoa, there's a guy like... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, there's like a bunch of them sitting on the ground there. Where'd the other one go? Okay. Are they... What's going on here? Where'd the other one go? What <laughs> did you see? He was like sliding. Did you see that? Oh, I don't like it when I can't see through the walls. Don't like it at all. Is he coming out? He sure is. Is he going to see me? He's not. <laughs> nice. Nice. I like it. Costing me nothing. Nice. Your turn, buddy boy. Yeah, I like it. Do this all day. All right, what is going on in this room? maintenance? Are these guys gonna, like, suddenly animate? Look at this guy in the freaking closet or whatever. Okay, that, 
doesn't do anything. Alright, let's do a little bit of looting here. Man... I know one of these guys is gonna spring up and scare the crap out of me. You just know it. What's going on over there? I guess the music's coming from this. Maybe. I guess so. There's like a radio here too, though. Oh, there's a chirper. Let's listen. Sorry, pal, but I just need it more. You get it, right? You're a machine, so I need it more. What's your lot in life? Serve humans, right? Well, I used to serve folks, too. I served in Kursk, and I served in Berlin. I didn't do it just to get a fancy medal. I was fighting for equality, so everybody can have the same rights and responsibilities. So everybody could be like everybody else. Now, I just need to figure out how to put your damn thing on. Hmm. Well, that was... It said message two of two. And at the end, he's like, I need it more than you, and now I just need to figure out how to put it on. So what did that mean? And what is going on over here? Um, uh, trying to make a lady bot? Uh, that's an interesting pose there. Okay. Interesting posters. Over here, this one actually has a robot on it. What does it say? I don't know. Some cool looking electric equipment over here. Got a bit of a leak. Okay, I found the opening. Found the opening. There's an opening over there. But there's more looting to do. So let's loot. They're here. We saw this symbol earlier. They're here. Huh. Ugh, what happened here? That doesn't look good. Got some drawings on the wall here. That's disturbing. Got a book. Be a western, maybe. Or maybe that's like medieval. Knights and stuff. Alright, let's check out this pair. On the names of new plants. March 18th, 1955, from Junior Genetic Engineer E. Malakova to Senior Genetic Engineer A. Raguzin. Who cares about Martian potatoes or moon wheat? You're coming up with really boring names. Trust me, it matters. What if we fly off to another solar system, like Aldebaran or whatever? I don't know, I'm no expert on that stuff. And then we plant our magnificent non-picky sunflower on a planet there, but then it turns out it's not a sunflower at all because there's no sun. So now it's an Aldebaran flower. Think about that. And we should think about blueberries too since they won't even be blue on Mars. We could call them red berries, but that's no good. And pink berries just sounds weird to me. Okay. Uh, this message is called, He Pulled the Plug, April 1st, 1955 from Junior Genetic Engineer E. Malakova. Again to Senior Genetic Engineer A. Raguzin. Vavilov pulled the plug on my project. He said it was illogical and favored form over substance. Can you believe that? If we can make sprouts, why do we have to breed regular cold-resistant or heat-resistant plants? If we want to settle new worlds, maybe we should create new plants there. Look, I love our Russian birch forests, but if I fly, if I fly to, say, Cuba, I want to see palm trees and reeds. You know, something new. We shouldn't grow fucking apple trees on Mars. 
We should grow flaming Martian beehive cacti or stalks of electric wheat. We've got the chance to make a new world unlike any other, and we're growing cabbage. Give me a break. On Sprouts, April 1st, from Laboratory Docent N. Ivanov to Senior Genetic Engineer A. Raguzin. Please read this carefully. It is not a joke. Yesterday, while disposing of organic waste, I deposited several carcasses of pigs that had expired during experiments into the sprout breeding chamber. We checked the recordings again today to see where the vovas had been going, and I discovered that the pigs had gotten up, walked around the chamber, and even tried to get outside. Unfortunately, by the time I got there, the carcasses had been, carcasses had been eaten. There may be something we don't know about the sprouts. I insist that we study this incident. Huh. Carcasses of pigs got up and walked around. And then by the time he got there, the carcasses had been eaten. Who ate, who ate them? That's weird. So I'm thinking there's another chirper around here somewhere. Cause that one we picked up said two of two. Don't see anything in this room. So, uh, this here, I guess, is supposed to get us inside of one of the boilers so that we could turn it off. Uh, I hesitate to do that immediately. Just because I want to look around a little bit more. And there's something over here the ground, maybe. What am I seeing over here? Oh, okay, a guy to loot. Okay, this is the guy that we shot earlier. Hmm. Boy, a group of dudes waiting up there for us. Oh, well, that's kind of neat. And then over here, on the ground. I've seen that stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. There you go. There you go. So we pick up one of these. How do I get into the pipe? And then we go over here. And we're going to throw it in that pipe right there. <laughs> See where it goes. Something. Oh, it just slurped right up in there. Oh. Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> this shit to the boiler myself? Kind of looking that way. Well, this is interesting. Um. Oh, this is kind of cool. Check this out. <laughs> okay. This is kind of neat. Uh, let's see. Which way do I want to go? I want to go up here to get into that boiler. Let's try it. This is pretty cool. It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? That's pretty cool. Um, the, uh, oh, it looks like we have some friends coming out to say hi. Look at this, listen to the sound, the music, it's fantastic. Two to the face. Oh, this is great. Music. That was neat. Okay. Kind of ominous. This guy's marching at you real slow. Hmm. Yeah. I was hoping that if I shot that thing, maybe it would, it would explode. 
but it did not. It did not explode. This is really cool. <laughs> what the hell's going on with that machine? There's two of them in there. What could that... What could that machine possibly be for? <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, whoa, I'm gonna... Let's go in here and make sure there's no dudes that have decided to wake up. Okay, I think we're good. All right, we're gonna grab another one of these Fahrenheit's. Pick it up. Take it over here. Shoot some hoops. It's a good thing the pipes openings in the next room and not over by the birch tree. Uh huh. Okay, so this one's gonna go here, which comes from here. Okay, we need to go down here. This way. Man, I tell you, this is really neat. Okay. This way. Nice. Okay, and then this way. Whoop, did I lose it? Okay, down this way. And plop. Okay. Second one's all set. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh, we got a runner. So shooting him in the face definitely is important. Because he took a lot of shots to the chest. Yes. <laughs> oh, there's one over there. Okay, so we can go here. We can... Uh, he's... Uh, okay. So, oh, okay, make up your mind, dude. He's down. Okay. So, you can see in the lower right-hand corner, you've got that hexagon with, like, a flame symbol in it. And you can see that the upper left and the right side of it is gray. Uh, so, that gray is the used portion of my flame canister. And as you can see... I feel like I've used my flame ca canister quite a bit, and I still have a long way to go before we use up this flame canister. And I've got three more flame canisters in my inventory. <laughs> so we're going to have flame for a long, 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 long time. Seems like. Oh, man. So I, I got to get a, a ball all the way over here now. Fahrenheit. So let's get on that. came up with all this shit. <laughs> I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna have to like... Oh, this one's already... Oh, this is busted. Okay. Uh, okay, so for this one, we have a long way to go. Okay, here we go. Let's pull this thing over here. Let's do it and hope that we don't get attacked while we're trying to do this. Now, why these robots show up once I cool down a furnace, I don't know. But hey, such is the way of video games. lost it again. I guess I'm going too fast or I'm too far away from it. Oh. Oh! Well, would you look at that? Very funny game. Yep. Okay, I guess maybe I go this way now. Go down here. Over here. <laughs> Why is this designed like this? <laughs> okay, here we go. Plop. Well... What a relief. Nice. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, 
Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's jumping. Oh. Nice. Shot him in half. That is pretty cool. All right, we did it. Now we need to retrieve the heat resistant polymer canister. <laughs> what is up with this machine in here? It's like from a nine inch nails video. Look at that. It's <laughs> so great. I'm really digging this game. I didn't see this room. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute, is this the way I came in? I thought I came in over here. Yeah, this is the way I came in. So what's this back here? Let's see where this takes us. I feel like I missed a chirper somewhere. We look at our inventory, and we look at the lore, and then chirpers. Boiler room. See? Temporary difficulties number two of two. Uh, so maybe the other one of these is in a different room, maybe? I don't know. But I feel like did a pretty decent job of looking around in here. Whoa. I don't know what I just did. I think I accidentally sh used my shock ability. But yeah, we looked around in here. I didn't see anything sitting in here, so... I don't think that the other chirper's in here. Sometimes you have to look at things from different perspectives. Charles, who's singing? Never heard him before. I have no idea. This is a broadcast from the Academy of Consequences Radio of the Future. It could be anything. The future is vast. Interesting that he had something new to say there. Huh. And I like that our character is making use of Charles instead of just yelling at him all the time. Alright, let's see what's going on out here. We got some stairs that go up, no doubt. The scanner's not picking anything up. Comrade Major. Yes. Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Hmm. Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. Now he's disappointed in me. And I feel like shit. If that's what's troubling you, just let it go. There's nothing unusual about your situation. What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Comrade <laughs> Sechenov is always disappointed in everyone. There's no pleasing the man. His perfectionism is pathological, and everyone knows it. Every single person in his life lets him down. What? Nah, that's bullshit. Neuropolymer gloves are incapable of deception. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, that was interesting. It's interesting that Charles finally asked him why he's being so mean. But I feel like I feel like our character hasn't been as mean to Charles since we learned about Petrov. I feel like he was much meaner to Charles before that. But at least Charles got a little bit of an answer as to why P3 is being such a jerk to him. And P3 surprisingly was honest with him. Opened up to him a little bit. I 
I guess these are locks that we'll never be able to open. Unless it's like... If you ever played Alien Isolation. That was a cool game. In that... You would come across doors that you couldn't open. Early in the game. But later in the game you would find a tool... That would let you go back to those doors later. And then open them. So I don't know if that's what's happening here or not. Bare high voltage cables are dangerous. What's this say? Well, I certainly don't know what it says. Let's see what this is. All critical elements are located at the back and at the bottom of the assembly. You find these either along its central axis or on the inside of its wheels or legs. The central portion, the one that gets hit most, is merely a decoy which is something that our Western friends have now learned all too well. You see, it contains almost no vital parts, and what few parts it has are rather small and protected by several layers of armor. There are no human crews inside these robots. All critical elements are located at the back and at the bottom of the assembly. You find these either along its central axis or on the inside of its wheels or legs. The central portion, the one that gets hit most, is merely a decoy, hmm, okay. which is something that our Western friends have now learned all too well. There's an elevator here. Does this call the elevator, or? Yeah, this must call the elevator if it's not here. Do I want to take that elevator? I don't think I do. I think I want to go over there. It's an interesting poster. Toss flim flammers out on their ear. Flim flammers, huh? Uh, this would take us to boiler room. The central portion, the one that gets hit most. Huh? Okay. Um, here's another save, save room. Interesting. Wasn't expecting to find this up here. Oh, we picked up a blueprint for adrenaline capsule. Huh. Let's do a quick so, check here. What will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? I still find it so weird that she talks so normal now. Uh, let's see. Pashtat we know how to make, but we don't have the resources for it. Don't have enough resources to make another Swede. I don't know why it doesn't show the Swede has already owned. I mean, it's in our storage, but... Oh, gosh. Okay, we don't have the recipes for these things down here. Lots of other weapons remaining to be discovered. Consumables. Adrenaline capsule restores health and dodge. So we could make some of these. But to be quite honest with you, I feel like I've already got way too much stuff in my inventory to go crafting things. So I don't think I'm going to craft anything. Now, I could um, upgrade some of my stuff. I've been using my shotgun here lately. See what we could do with the shotgun. We've already put one cartridge module on it. So we could upgrade this to level two. A state of the art secret weapon node increases elemental damage dealt by the polymer. We could do that. I like the idea of doing more damage. Uh, let's see, we could upgrade the handle. That helps with recoil, which I can't say I've really noticed a problem with. The barrel, more recoil, uh, muzzle rise, can't say I care about that. Extended magazine, we don't have the parts for that. Aiming devices, meh. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade this, do more damage. Okay. Can't upgrade again because we're missing chemistry. And uh, I really like this electroshock as well. Let's see if we could do anything with it. It's barrel, conventional barrel. Uh, we could upgrade this to a polymeric oscillating circuit. This will improve the weapons, the weapons rate of fire. I don't know if I care about how fast it shoots, but maybe I should. EMP generator. Oh, we don't have enough um, energy modules to create that. That's too bad. That sounded pretty good. Recirculation chamber. Reduces energy consumption when firing. I mean, I haven't really noticed this thing using a lot of energy, but sure. Okay. And 
then the next level, uh, high capacity capacitor, upping the amperage improves the rate of fire again. Eh. Let's save our, save our resources. And then as far as skills go, what can we upgrade here? I haven't gone this direction. This is the one that lets us shock from further away. And as far as our character goes, we could increase our maximum health. That's, that's not a bad thing to do, is it? And, you know, it's been a while or forever since we've faced a boss, and I have to think that one's coming up here pretty soon. So let's go ahead and increase our maximum health. Let's do that. I like that. And, um... Yeah, we'll go with what we've got. I'm okay with that. Okay, now after having done that, we're going to do another save. Saving data. And then, uh... Let's continue. Let's go, let's go over there. I want to... Um, I don't know, I want to see where this elevator goes, though, you know? Oh, whoa. 34, 9, and 5? That makes me nervous. I mean, surely we'll come back. We'll be able to come back, right? Because we have work to do here. I'll telephone here. Are we going up? Are we going down? I can't tell. Wherever it is, it's taken a while. This may have been a mistake. Where the heck am I now? Is this where we came in? this place. Whoa. Okay, that was disturbing. Maybe I just walked into that box and the physics went nuts. Oh. I'm back out here. Okay, well, we haven't picked up any canisters yet, so... Can't use any yet. Out here, another save room. The heck? Algology workshop. Have I been in this save room already? I have it. <laughs> oh, another blueprint for the Pashtet blade flight. Huh, I don't know. Um, I don't think I want to be here yet. We still have work to do where we already were. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go back. Oh, crap. <laughs> I thought I could go back, but I can't. <laughs> I can't go back. <laughs> um, what the... Okay, well, I need to go this way. That was dumb what I just did. Okay, okay, all right. Man, there's, um... I mean, look at this, there's a save room right here, and then literally steps away is another safe room. I think this is where we started the episode, and then we went down those stairs to the boiler room, so... Okay, we're fine, I think. So we're gonna go this way now.
Okay, this is the room that we couldn't go in before because it was too hot. So we should be able to get into it now. Oh yeah, this is the way we took to get to the boiler room the first time. Uh, okay. So down here... There's an item there. Don't know how I'm going to get up there. Maybe I need to use the loader, maybe. Well, you listened to this before. So we can come in here now. Make sure there's no robots lurking about. Oh man. This is making me nervous. How am I going to get up there? I'm going to have to make use of that robot to get up there. That loader. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. The character had nothing to say about that. Oh, terraform Mars? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's the story with all these guys. Interesting. Another big door here. Don't know if we'll ever be able to open it. Once again, the sound effects are just grade A perfect. Great sound effects. Okay. So. I think we need to go over there and take a ride on that dude. So let's, let's try to do that. Oh, I'm not sure what that is. Before I go up there, let me just do a quick check of this perimeter here. I don't see any goodies. So I've got a blade here. Oh, I just saw... Okay. That's what I just saw on the ground over there, I think. Alright, let's, uh... Let's take a little ride on this guy. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Now... What? I can I jump up there? Okay, maybe I jump on top of this. Let me jump on top of this. Okay. I mean, even the sound effects are different up here. The ambiance just feels completely different. So nicely done. The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Okay. So there's a canister that we're interested in. I don't think I'm going to like what's going to happen once I get to it. There's a... Ca oh, man, there's a... There's a crate over there. I get to it. That, <clears throat> it looks like there's a. Uh, let's see if I can see it on this one. I don't see it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like there's a magnetic symbol on that right there. Makes me wonder if that's a clue as to how I'm supposed to get up there or get it down or something. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get to that. Well, let's go ahead and grab this canister and put it in our pocket. Well, we got the hot workshop canister. And thankfully, nobody seems to care. So, how do I get over there? Everything here oh, seems oops. pretty cut and dry. 
We should head back before something fucked up happens. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. Except that I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to get over there. I didn't notice a way to get over there, but let's check it out. Um, I can't jump that far. I don't think I could jump in these trees. Um, can I shimmy across these beams? I don't think so. No. Huh. Don't know whether I'm supposed to have the telekinesis to go over there, or... Let's see what happens if I jump in the tree. Uh, nothing. I fall to the ground. So... That's where I want to try to go. Okay, so there's things to climb on right there. Maybe later in the game I'll find myself up there. Right? But not right now. Oh, whoop. Or maybe we just do this. Okay, let's try this. See if this works. Okay. Oh, what's this place? Oh, another save room? Okay, this is a room we've been in. Here. Hmm. Huh. The lunch staff low well, I thought this was going to be the way to get over there, but that does not look like a doable jump. Right? That's too far away, man. I can't make that jump. <laughs> yeah. Can't do that. Hmm. Huh. Thought I was onto something there. And there's like this little walkway right here. Boy, you gotta be careful. You don't want to fall into that, huh? Man, you try to make that jump and you miss it. You're in big trouble. Okay. Well, here we go. Okay, got up here. Okay. Well, we found a room with some goodies in it. I think it's putting these small Neuromed capsules in my uh, inventory, or maybe it's just sending them straight to Nora. I'm not sure which, but if you look at the icon that shows up, that didn't show up that time, but it looks like a, a little miniature orange-colored Nora. So I don't know if that means storage, or if that means it's just being recycled. Well, this little place here isn't going to help me get over there. Right. Got a pipe that runs all the way across the top over there, but that isn't going to do me any good either. Huh. Yeah. I really don't know how I'm supposed to make that jump there. certainly can't make that jump from here, right? There's no way I could jump that high from here. Yeah, I can't make that jump. Hmm. Can I walk on this railing? I can. But I still don't think I can make this jump. I don't think I can do that. But I mean, why else is that up there, right? That has to be what that's for. Don't 
don't think jumping up there is going to help me with anything. Um. <laughs> Surely this isn't how I'm supposed to do this. Hop. Nope. Oh. I think I'm hurting myself a little bit each time I do that, too. Alright. Well, I hate to just leave it up there. I don't know of any case where I've left anything behind yet in the game. That might be the first thing. Alright. I'm gonna go in here and save, end this episode, when we come back next time. Saving data. We'll, um, we'll go into one of the other rooms. Uh, there was, what, the hot room and the algae room and two other rooms. We'll go into at least one of the other ones in the next episode. Excited to see what else this game has in store. Really digging it. I hope you're having fun. If you are, why don't you let me know, leave me a like or a comment. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you join me again in the next episode.